Hello and welcome to an Eagle presentation for Accounts Payable AP Assist. My name is Mark Walter, Solutions Engineer at Epicor Software. And over the next few minutes, we're going to be looking at the features and benefits of how AP Assist can help you in your business and grow while you're still reducing the burden of paying your bills day to day. So moving through our slides, we're going to talk about what AP Assist is and some of the goals with AP Assist, well, it's time consuming. We also have to store information as well. So we'll talk about what AP Assist allows you to save time with automation in paying your bills, as well as keeping copies of what you've paid in an archive that's stored in the cloud. So why do customers use AP Assist? Well, it's take advantage of accuracies on your vendor invoices, being able to take advantage of discounts that might be provided so that you can pay your bills faster, being able to look everything up in scanned archives versus having to keep things in filing cabinets. And then if you need to talk to a vendor about past purchases or things that you need to research on a past purchase order, it's easy to find the actual documents and vendor invoices inside of AP Assist. So AP Assist consists of, first off, a web-based application where we capture key pieces of information from a vendor's invoice. That would be the payables data, the total amount of that invoice, the date, your purchase order number if we're talking about a vendor invoice for merchandise. Once we import or scan, we can work with a emailed invoice or with a physical piece of paper. We then create a file with that information that we capture to be imported into Eagle for a comparison as to whether that matches up with your original purchase order. Now, in the case of a non-merchandise expense, we can still scan it in. It doesn't have to be matched to a PO since no PO was involved, but we can still automate the process to move it on to Eagle Accounts Payable and have a voucher built for the transaction. So to break down the process, you would go in and scan or import a vendor invoice, whether again, merchandise or non-merchandise related. The key part is creating templates that will capture the key pieces of information that you need to grab from that invoice that will then be put into a file for Eagle. It's stored on your Windows PC. We then bring up a viewer where we import that file, and then at that moment, we decide is the invoice a perfect match or is it close enough of a match, what we call a tolerance level, where we'll allow that to be paid because it's close enough by a percentage or a dollar amount. And those can be set up by vendor. It's not something you have to use, but it's designed for if you're doing a very large purchase and you have a lot of line items on that PO, it's easier to, uh, maybe if it's only a dollar off, allow it to be paid. So online, you will use the new speed application. That is where we do the OCR character recognition of the data from the vendor invoice. And then AP Assist is a viewer in Eagle where we import what we collect from the speed application and compare to your PO to make a match, or in the case that there's not a match, we would use advanced receiving to make corrections. We talked about the tolerance levels. There's a percentage as well as a dollar amount. The dollar amount will never be exceeded regardless of the percentage, so you can set these up if you want to allow invoices to be paid if they're close enough. But again, you can balance to the penny. You do not have to use tolerance levels. But should you choose, you could set them at a global level, or you can also go in and set them at the vendor level in vendor maintenance. So as stated before, the template building will be the upfront work. We always recommend starting with your biggest vendor and building that template first and working your way backwards as the old 80-20 rule applies here. So, Build your templates by capturing the key pieces of information. There's only five pieces that you have to capture, such as the date, the vendor's invoice, obviously the total, your PO number, 
need to be grabbed from the appropriate areas. But you don't have to be exact when you define areas on the screen. You can be very liberal and define very large areas where information might appear because then you can tell it to look for keywords within an area so that it will grab information relative to that keyword. So in our example here, you see the word balance in the lower right corner. There's a little lasso. You, it's hard to uh, see that that is the word balance, but we looked for that. And then we capture the total to the right of that word balance. So you're looking for keywords and working from there in sort of a generalized area. Once templates are built, it becomes automated because the system will automatically know which template to use when you go to import or scan a physical piece of paper. It will recognize from the list of templates that you've built and pick out the appropriate template to use. You can even scan multiple invoices at once and also multiple invoices for different vendors if you choose. There are ways to configure the templates to make them smarter to know when one invoice is ended and it's now time to start a new one. Once we go ahead and complete the scanning or capturing of the data, we give you a proofreading screen to verify that the data was correct. And we then take that and finalize it into a file for Eagle. Then that is stored into an archive. So the archive viewer will store a copy of what you imported or scanned so that it's easy to retrieve as a PDF and export out of the system, but it's kept in the cloud. You don't have to worry about backing it up. So the final piece of this is that you will come into Eagle. It all falls within the miscellaneous menu. So under here is where we would go in and first off import one or more files that we <clears throat> that represent what we scanned from the vendor's invoice. At that moment in time, if it's a uh, purchase order related uh, document, then we will match the purchase order and make sure that there's a matching number in Eagle. If there is a match, we will say that we have found that as a match towards the middle of our screen. And then we'll also say, is it within or outside of what we call our tolerance level if you choose to use those. So for everything that's within a tolerance level or is an exact match, we can release all of those to accounts payable as a regular voucher, meaning it's ready to pay. We don't have to go back into payables and convert it from a temporary to a regular because we've already done the work of comparing the two using AP Assist. So the goal again is manage the exceptions. For things that are not within tolerance, we would use advanced receiving to make corrections, whether that's to a freight charge, whether that's a cost differential on a SKU, or perhaps even a receiving quantity differential that needed to be fixed. So all those things are corrected with advanced receiving, once you refinalize that purchase order, you would come back here, you would be then okay to finalize and release it to payables as a regular voucher. This is also the viewer where you'll come in and bring in documents for your overhead <clears throat> expenses, such as your electric bill or your phone bill. These can be imported. Now there's no PO to match up, that's okay because a PO is not used to procure that merchandise, but we can still scan it in, process the information, and then create the regular vouchers and payables for the overhead expenses. So, two of our customers brought us some of their experiences, and the key points that they both make in their quotes are that by using AP Assist, it's reduced how much work they have to do matching invoices are passed through. So again, managed by exception. So they're not having to spend as much time processing invoices. In fact, our first customer quote said, time is going down by over 50%. So that's the key part of AP Assist. I also have another experience inside of here. So again, reducing how many people it takes. Our customer here said, two and a half people to handle our AP volume, but they're able to do it with just a single person. So they're able to really reduce how much time it's taking, even though they're able to still keep the volume and grow the business. So that is the whole goal behind AP Assist. Time and money. So at the end, the benefits 
of course, as I just mentioned, the hours spent, <clears throat> accuracy. So no longer having to necessarily review every single invoice as it comes in, whether it's via email or physical mail, having to store your <clears throat> vendor invoices, just if you need to go back and reference what you've purchased or and what you were billed for. So that will be st stored inside of the cloud, backed up for you. So then you can free up your staff to do more customer facing activities versus the day to day back office. So and discounts we talked about as well. So those are some of the benefits behind AP Assist and why our customers are using it today. So I thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions about AP Assist, please contact your Epicor account manager and they can provide you with more details for a demo and perhaps pricing if that is requested. Thank you for your time.